What's up guys, it's Virtus, and uh, today I have another gameplay for you guys, and today it's a double gameplay of the FE4202. Uh, I recently bought this back as uh, I stopped playing it for about uh, after I hit 500 games, but then uh, I watched Concept's video and uh, I decided to buy it back since uh, before I played this thing without a premium account, so I didn't really, really shoot a lot of the Hesh, and that was the specialty of this tank. Now that I do have a premium tank, or a premium account, um, I do love this tank now as I shoot a lot of hash from it and it is <laughs> amazingly fun to, I don't know, be able to roll over 400 when you're in a medium tank that fires seven over 7.8 rounds a minute. Uh, so I am playing on Lost Temple here and we are topped here and this is a pretty favorable matchup. Uh, the only threat that I'm worried about is that E100 and we're playing against some guys from Sparta that, I, that are pretty skilled so uh, Rocket says stay back a little bit. And I see the T30 in the back, and uh, as he is moving uh, and not aiming, I get to pop a nice sneaky shot into the T30 for over 500. Now, uh, I think the, the, this tank does snapshot pretty well, in my opinion, at least better than the object on 40. Um, so I was able to hit that thing pretty quickly. And I'm really sorry about the lag here, but that one missed the T30 anyway. Now, these guys are pushing extremely aggressively, and I don't think that's the right play. Uh, my marksmanship is here isn't very good as it is pretty hard to hit a moving T30. Now I see that he has fired and he has pushed up way too far. I, I'm willing to take a hit to uh, take out an important threat. Now here's the IS-3. Uh, the top of this turret is pretty weak. Now uh, while there's a little bit of break in the gameplay, uh, if you guys notice that new sick, awesome, beautiful uh, thumbnail that was at the beginning of the game, well, uh, you guys all gotta thank Alex Built It. He uh, was the one that created that thumbnail, and I have a few more videos. And I think all my future videos, as long as he is around on the forums, uh, they should have his thumbnail on it. Uh, so, I hope you guys, uh, you guys should definitely check his channel out after this video if you guys haven't. Uh, he's got some nice uh, World of Tanks splits replays as well. And uh, I will put a, be putting a link in the description of this video to his channel. Now this game is pretty much over. Uh, I get a one nice shot into the ISU's uh, little uh, upper hole, I guess. And uh, that's about it. And this is a really nice shot through uh, the cracks of the door, I guess you could say. I switched to Hesh here, but unfortunately it misses. And in, yeah, I think uh, unless I had gotten lucky, that shot would not have pinned. And as you can see, I I guess I hit the gun manlet, or like that little tiny patch of spaced armor, and the gun does eat the shot uh, doing a zero damage pen. So that's unfortunate. I really should have shot APCR there. So that was my mistake. But at this point, I was having too much fun with Hesh, so I shot it anyway just to see what would happen, as I had never done it before. At least at the front of an FE. Now I uh, finish off that uh, other FE with uh, an APCR shot, and all that's left is an E100. Well, uh, I'm going to always, when <laughs> there's someone on the enemy team without kills, always check their spawn first, as it there's a high uh, likelihood that they are camping. I mean, they're AFK, not camping. So uh, I am just going to be circling around, and... Uh, on PC, this tank is really unpopular because of its 40 kilometer top speed, which is quite terrible. Th but, uh, and that's understandable because PC maps are a lot bigger. Most PC maps are about a thousand by a thousand, so that's a long ways to be going <laughs> with, with 40 kph. But on Blitz, it has, it has the same speed, so the, the top speed isn't actually that big of a problem. And sorry about that. Oh, yeah, actually, the enemy team had Robo as well. The Robo 54 is a very good player. Unfortunately, he was stuck bottom tier in an IS-3, so that's a bit unfortunate for him. Um, so, we're going to find out that the C-100 is indeed camping in the back instead of, um, instead of being AFK. Now, uh, that was a, so when you're shooting at an angled E-100 like this, what you want to go for is right, uh, well, a go for the dry wheel, because, um, even though the sky, the, the colors may tell you that you cannot penetrate. If you shoot where the drive wheel is and you shoot it on that corner, 
unless the E100 is angled extremely well, um, like perfectly well, you should be able to pen that, pen that with uh, most tier 10 medium guns and almost all tier 10 TDs. Now I'm just going in balls to the wall here. I got a lucky pen on the lower plate of the E100 and uh, him turning around his turret allows my team to go up and move forward. Now fortunate the C100 cannot drive and I think that reaction time was a bit off as uh, I was already on the wall and then he shot. Maybe he underestimated his uh, turret traverse. Now I load Hesh here and I drive up onto the hill and make a nice blind shot into the butt of the E100 to finish him off. Now this is a 5k damage game but unfortunately I don't think you guys can see it as the show lag is just terrible. Uh, this next game I'm going to be shooting even more Hesh as well. I was just having way too much fun at this point. We're on playing Castillas here and uh, we're playing against a Patton and E100 who are top tier. And uh, besides that the matchup is not too bad. The enemy team would have an extra tier 9 but I'm not too worried. Uh, I'm trying to get the team to come this way, and uh, fortunately, everybody is following except for the Leopard Prototype, but uh, that tank isn't very good on this map as, well, he doesn't have a lot of armor or gun depression. Um, unfortunately, the Tiger 2 is turning around, and that makes the Yag Tiger turn around as well, so uh, that's a bit of a disappointment, as now we've lost a lot of our uh, important tanks. Now, uh, Rocket, my good buddy here, is... Uh, playing well as he waited up for me to uh, come up. Fortunately we don't see anybody here because if the enemy team had just appeared in front of us we would have had to run away and uh, our team was separated so that would we would have had a good chance of losing there. Fortunately the enemy team looks like it, they went the other way or they're really slow moving out of spawn. So uh, when I spawn south I always go through um, the river here into this position because Probably by this point the enemy team had made it up to the central tower and this is a really good countering point to the tower as you can peek out and shoot. But um, I guess these guys were really slow, really slow out of spawn. Uh, and uh, there's three tanks, the Patton, the M103, and the Tiger II. I get to put a lot of shots in this M103 besides he gets to escape. And as you can see I switched to Hesh here. I know I'm not going to get the shot off on the 103 so I immediately focus on the Tiger II. Uh, I mean, this Hesh is just so nice. It gives you the best DPM of all the tier 10 mediums. And uh, he's giving me his side here, which is a mistake. I rolled for 408 two times in a row, which was kind of interesting. I guess a bit unlucky. And I get a really nice snipe shot on the hatch there, finishing him off. I switch back to APCR here, but I take a massive hit. I think that was a Yag Tiger, so uh, this <laughs> IS-3 really helps me drift around the corner there. Or, I don't know what that was. I don't think that was an IS-3. Maybe, maybe Tiger 2. I, I don't remember. Whatever. It doesn't matter. I uh, did a nice drift around the corner. I switched to Hesh because I know I can pen the lower plate of that Yag Tiger, and that sets him on fire and does a hell of a lot of damage, including the burn. So now we're winning 3-1. Uh, however, the enemy team have uh, really outnumbered us in the uh, western side of the map. So, so I'm going to have to push really hard here in order to pull back the scores for my team. Now I shoot Hesh here as the Patton is showing us his butt. Uh, I shoot the side of his turret and uh, I hold off the shot here as I know the tracks will eat the shot. So I shoot the APCR, I back off and I'm able to overmatch and penetrate the side of the Patton's armor. If I had shot Hesh there that probably would have, been, would have been a no damage pen and probably only destroyed his track. And that would have been useless because I would have done no damage. Now I see the E100 is turning his gun around I just shoot one off just to see what would happen and uh, I immediately go into cover. Now I see the U100 turret has turned and I am moving in. Close quarters, uh, the FV is very very good at circling. Uh, the U100 angles turret well just in time for, for him to avoid the shot and uh, now I'm going to be shooting Hesh into the side of the U100 turret as it is very weak. Now this final shot here does finish him off and uh, in almost any other tank that game would have felt like a not very spectacular one however in the FE if you're shooting a lot of Hesh you will sure do a hell of a lot of damage as that was I think a 5k damage game sorry about that that was a show crash there but uh, I will definitely be showing you guys the results screen <laughs> because it is just so surprising I mean honestly I felt like that game wasn't that much but uh, that was in fact a 5k game and I still made credits even though how much Hesh I shot. So 
a lot of you guys think that, like, I don't know, the FE doesn't make a lot of money because, well, the shots are so expensive and the hits are so expensive, but if you do make your shots count and you don't take a lot of hits, you can actually make credits at tier 10. So hope you guys enjoy the replay and more coming soon.